welcome to this morning's service award recognition event. What a pleasure it is to be a part of this ceremony and how fitting that we are able to recognize the history made by our honorees today in this beautiful historic building. Thank you dignitaries for joining us today. A special, special thank you to our honored guests. Today's celebration is about 30, 35, and 40 years of service. It's too easy, however, to think about this celebration just in terms of years. While it is important to recognize our coworkers for the time committed to the county, for it has been long, today we honor them, we honor you, for your service, your sacrifice, the lives you changed, the lives you saved, the quality of life maintained or improved because of the years you have given us. Maricopa County is strong today because of you. You made a difference. My hope is when you leave here, you will know how much that matters. We will not be able to quantify it like we can in number or capture your true value with a plaque or a clock representing your time and service. A few chosen words cannot begin to do your service justice, but that doesn't mean we don't know how great your contribution has been. We are all better because of you, and we are all grateful, deeply grateful. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is uh, exciting uh, for me because uh, this is actually what I think of the punctuation mark, if you will, uh, on Maricopa County's talent uh, and the hard work that we do each and every day as, as the fourth largest uh, county in the nation. Aside from that, I also want to say that if you stop and think of, of what we do each and every day together, it, it's quite amazing. So we have multiple departments here that are representing uh, the fine residents of, of Maricopa County. And I was riding up the elevator with a, a gentleman who I'm pointing to. I'm sorry, I don't remember your names. That shows you how good I am at being a politician. Uh, <laughs> but, but we're riding the elevator and, and, and 30 years, uh, just, just right out of the bat, and he said, you know, it was a, a part-time job or it was supposed to be temporary. Uh, and, and I'm gonna say that it's because he fell in love with Maricopa County. Tell me your name one more time. Mike McBride. Mike, Mike McBride. And so, Mike, <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't a part-time job and that you're still here with us today. So I, I was signing these certificates a few days ago, and I think there's 56 in all. Uh, and it was, it was striking to me that, that folks have the passion and the energy that you do for, for the number of years many of you have been here, 30, 35 years, 40 years, and, and continue to want to work. This is not a retirement celebration, I might add. Uh, so everyone's got to be back at work at uh, 1130. Uh, this isn't a retirement. This, this is actually just what I stated at the outset. This is a punctuation mark of the fine work you do each and every day, and not only to applaud and hold up and trumpet the success of these people that we're gonna to honor today, but also to hold up and trumpet the people and the families and the friends that helped get them to this point in their time, to this point in their career. Today we're celebrating you as well. And I thank you as not only chairman, on behalf of all five supervisors, I know Mr. Gallardo is gonna speak in a few minutes and I apologize, a few of our colleagues couldn't be here today, but please make no mistake, it's not that this isn't important, this is critically important. Uh, you represent all of Maricopa County well, not just the board, and for that, we are very grateful. For that, we congratulate you, and thank you for letting us share in, in your special day. I do want to commend and thank the employees for their years of service here at Maricopa County. I can tell you, uh, I myself, former county employee, I started uh, with the elections office in 1988, and I served uh, uh, nearly 14 years uh, there at, uh, at the elections department before moving on and, and running for, for public office. And I can tell you one of the most fondest moments as a, as a county employee is when, and I'm sure you all have experienced this as well, is when you're walking in a mall or a shopping center and it's a Saturday evening or Sunday evening and, and someone stops you and thanks you for the service that you've given them there at the county. So it happened to me uh, back in the mid-90s um, in a mall 
minding my own business, and, and this lovely lady came up to me and wanted to thank me. She had ran for uh, one of the school boards and wanted to thank me for, for helping her. And uh, so those are the rewards, the true rewards. You, you really come to find out all the great work you do and benefiting the great people of Maricopa County. So I, I look at the number of years, and it's amazing, 30 years, 35, 40 years. Uh, it's just truly amazing to see the number of years. It says volumes for Maricopa County and yourselves for the dedicated work you have given the people of Maricopa County. We did some math coming up, and it's 1,765 years combined. If you add up all the years, it's amazing. It's amazing. So I do want to commend everyone. Thank you for your service, and uh, hopefully we'll come back. And uh, for those that are celebrating their 40th, well, maybe we'll celebrate your 50th. How about that, huh? <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thank you all for allowing me to be here and speaking. And once again, congratulations. With today's technology and advancements, it's often hard to remember what it was like in Maricopa County 30, 35, and 40 years ago. The days when we used typewriters or desktop computers as big as the desk. Remember the frogs? When our cell phones were as big as our hair, when we had hair, when our parking structures were dirt lots and our entire workforce was within shouting distance. Well, those days are long gone, but nonetheless, a part of the journey our honorees have taken. Let us take a minute to go back in time and truly appreciate how far they have brought us here today. Since statehood in 1912, Maricopa County has been among the fastest growing areas in the nation. During the decades immediately after World War II and the introduction of air conditioning, rapid and enormous population growth transformed ours from a medium-sized western county to one of the largest metropolitan areas in the United States. By 1980, Maricopa County had grown to 1.5 million people. Suburbs like Mesa, Scottsdale, and the Sun Cities were no longer places farmers raised citrus, cotton, and livestock. Yet all this growth and congestion greatly taxed our public infrastructure. The daily commute from the East Valley suburbs became a day-long struggle. Heavy winter rains split the county in two during rainstorms of the early 1980s. Crime, including land fraud and public corruption, cast an unflattering negative image. Quality of life became a huge public concern. Clearly, the state's largest county was in desperate need for an influx of professional public servants and forward-looking civic leaders to meet these new challenges. Fortunately, a new generation of public servants, including the nearly 60 Maricopa County employees we honor today, arose to meet those many challenges. We are in their debt. Think back. In 1980, the Valley's freeway system totaled about 70 miles. 30 years later, more than 225 miles of freeway have been opened, with more coming. The benefits to convenience, commerce, and development have been enormous thanks to the contributions of Maricopa County and its workforce. However, with growth and increased mobility came increased demand on our public safety and county services. Thanks to those who worked to ensure our forward progress achieved the desired outcomes without unintended consequences on our quality of life. In the early 1990s, with the success of the Phoenix Suns and the arrival of the NFL Cardinals, residents here were eager to be seen as major league. Bank One Ballpark, now known as Chase Field, opened in 1998. The ballpark is governed by the County Stadium District, composed of the five county supervisors. It was there that the D-backs won a dramatic World Series in 2001. County employees have been an important part of the ballpark from its inception to the experience our residents enjoy today. Between October 1977 and February 1980, seven regional floods occurred with one of the most significant taking place in January 1980, when 11 of the 13 Salt River Bridge crossings were destroyed or damaged. More than 6,000 residents were evacuated. But that was before the Arizona Canal Diversion Channel, completed in 1994. A 16-mile-long earthen channel and a series of bridges built by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the Maricopa County Flood Control District. The channel provides flood protection from 100-year floods for a giant swath of 152 square miles, from Peoria and Glendale to East Phoenix. However, Mother Nature still has her say. But thanks to the work of the Flood Control District, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office and others, when she does, the county is there to provide necessary public assistance. 
Of course, we can't speak about vast land areas without acknowledging the county regional park system, one of the largest in the nation. It's home to Lake Pleasant, which may well be the crown jewel. Boaters, fishermen, and outdoor enthusiasts salute the County Parks and Recreation Department, which manages and operates Lake Pleasant in addition to nine other regional parks that soon will be connected by a single trail system. Although these are just a snapshot, they represent examples of the extraordinary qualities and accomplishments that distinguish Maricopa County from other local governments. County government, of course, is unique. The Board of Supervisors shares responsibility and authority with other elected officials, including the Sheriff, the County Attorney, the Assessor, the Recorder, the Treasurer, the Clerk of the Court, and the Superintendent of Schools. Superior Court judges are also elected independently after initial appointment by the Governor. This democratic form of government is supported and sustained by the dedicated service of its employees. Over the past 30 years, we have seen our own county leaders become trailblazers in their own right. Leaders like the first female Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, Governor Jan Brewer, former Secretary of State Betsy Bayless, and former member of the U.S. House of Representatives Ed Pastor. These are achievements we all can be proud of, and for those being honored here today, this rich history is one they can say they had a place in. Finally, Maricopa County government, largely on the initiative of its employees, worked to give meaning to its motto, Citizens Serving Citizens. Employees have helped move the county forward in customer service, innovation, efficiency, and effectiveness. The work of county employees has earned literally hundreds of NACO awards. Over the years, noteworthy accomplishments have been realized by all county departments. It's what we are committed to as county employees. Whether one's career has been devoted to enhancing the safety and well-being of our communities, ensuring a fair and equitable justice and legal system, protecting and promoting the health and well-being of our residents and visitors, providing educational and social services to vulnerable populations, building a solid infrastructure, or providing support to all the county employees and departments so they can do their work. County employees such as those here today have devoted their adult years to public service. It is a legacy to be proud of and to celebrate. We give thanks to our most valuable assets, our loyal and dedicated employees who have contributed to our community throughout their career to make Maricopa County what it is today and set the stage for what it will be in years to come. How many of you actually do remember when Tempe in the East Valley was cut off from Phoenix? Spent hours trying to get across the bridge. Okay, law enforcement, don't listen to me ran across because there was a liquor store across and you could run back with the six packs. <laughs> oh, wait, did I do that, Paula? <laughs> it, it took us from almost the beginning of time, represented by this group here, and we went back to dirt roads and paved them and found our way to work. We actually introduced buses. If I'm not mistaken, we built buildings that actually were more than one story. The Madison Street Jail was brand new, not something ready to be torn down. Our courts, our public safety, our county attorney, our treasurer, our recorder, planning and development, McDot, animal care and control. There isn't a department, there isn't a person that hasn't made a huge difference for us in Maricopa County. And the bottom line, at the end of the day, our quality of life is better. We have every reason to be proud, and we're indebted to you. That, in a nutshell, was the video. <laughs> Good morning. Our first group of recipients being recognized this morning come from the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. Julie Alquist, Sheriff's Office, 30 years. Julie is highly respected. <laughs> Julie is highly respected for her work and expertise in the area of criminal history records, electronic storage, warrants, and sex offender registrations, all making Maricopa County a safer community. She is smart, energetic, funny, attuned to employees, assertive, and like a dog with a bone until she gets a problem solved. She bakes the world's best Texas sheet cake. Had we known this before the ceremony, we would have had her bring some. Thank you, Julie, for your long and faithful service to the citizens of Maricopa County. Todd Bates, Sheriff's Office, 30 years. As a man of high character and ability, Todd is a perfect fit to head the Sheriff's Homicide Unit. 
He has held many positions of responsibility during his law enforcement career and is highly regarded by his coworkers for his leadership, integrity, and commitment. Todd truly cares about the employees he supervises and the citizens he serves. Hazel Blaine, Sheriff's Office, 30 years. Hazel is one of those people who always has a smile on her face and will do any job asked of her. She has enjoyed being part of such a large family in the Sheriff's Office. Her fondest thought after 30 years is that she has found it extremely meaningful and rewarding to be a mentor, teacher to the newer employees of the office. Thank you, Hazel, for your long and faithful service to the citizens of Maricopa County. Ophelia Cano, Sheriff's Office, 35 years. In the 35 years Ophelia has served with Maricopa County, she has worked as an assistant to many of our current and past executives, from former supervisor Mary Rose Wilcox to many of the chiefs at the Sheriff's Office. Her most memorable achievement in the 35 plus years she has devoted to helping Maricopa County government better serve the citizens who reside here. Thank you, Ophelia, for your long and faithful service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Ruben Garcia, Deputy Sheriff, 30 years. Deputy Ruben Garcia has served the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office since 1984, mostly in a patrol capacity. Ruben's mentoring of younger deputies has been his hallmark. Though critically injured in a shooting in January 2013, his dogged determination has provided for a very strong recovery. His sacrifice and courage are an inspiration to all. Thank you, Ruben, for your long and faithful service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Stephen Gibbs, Sheriff's Office, 35 years. Steve began as a dispatcher and eventually promoted to the role of administrator. Steve is a very valuable resource finding answers to any question or issue, regardless of whether it's radio related or not. He is nicknamed MacGyver for his creative repair of things around the office. For 35 years, Steve has helped others reach their goals and potential. Thank you, Steve, for your long and faithful service to the citizens of America the county. <laughs> Terry Lehman, Sheriff's Office, 30 years. Terry was a supervisor in detention information systems, also known as SIMS, for 17 years. She was an assistant to Chief Bill Williams for two years, and she has been a support analyst with the inmate telephone section for the past 11 years. Through all those years, she has been conscientious, hardworking, and always willing to take the extra step to help others. Thank you, Terry, for your long and faithful service to the citizens of Maricopa County. John Ramsey, Sheriff's Office, 30 years of service. John's assignment in Lake Patrol allows him to combine his passion for boating and fishing to the benefit of the office and the public. He has a wealth of knowledge and experience in these areas and has always been ready, willing, and able to share this with others. John is most proud of the community policing work he has done with children to ensure they know police are real people and should not be feared. Thank you, John, for your long and faithful service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Judy Schroeder, Sheriff's Office, 40 years. Cool as a cucumber is what comes to mind when working with Judy. No matter the challenge, Judy never got excited or even appeared stressed. Judy orchestrated the successful file conversion of approximately 250,000 criminal history jackets and nearly 75,000 warrant files. Currently, she serves as a Sheriff's Office statistician, collecting, analyzing, and reporting da jail data. For 40 years, Judy's work has been invaluable to the service, as well as law enforcement agencies across the county. Thank you, Judy, for your long and faithful service to the citizens. <laughs> Sheila Kopelman, Superior Court, 30 years of service. Sheila is, a compassionate, is as compassionate about public service as she is dedicated to the court. She is insanely competent, deeply kind, and empathetic. Sheila has a strong sense of fulfillment and pride in the work that she does and is looking forward to the next 30 years. Thank you, Sheila, for your service to the residents of Maricopa County. Ginger Hopper, Superior Court, 30 years of service. Ginger is an integral member of the production support team. Her focus on customer satisfaction and attention to detail make her a model employee. Ginger demonstrates the highest level of integrity at all times, a virtue that has served her well during her career with the court. Thank you, Ginger, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Lilia Lin, Superior Court, 30 years of service. Lilia has held a number of key administrative support positions throughout her career, bringing a positive energy and friendly face to court services. Lilia is most fond of the professional relationships she has established over her career. She is a true asset to the judicial branch and the public which we serve. Thank you, Lilia, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. Scott Lose, 
Superior Court, 35 years. Scott is nationally recognized for his interpreter skills, speaking seven different languages and federally certified in Spanish. It is estimated that he has interpreted in more than 90,000 matters. Scott has been instrumental in upgrading the training and assessment of foreign language court interpreters. For 35 years, Scott has made service to the court, his community, and his family a part of his everyday life and has been an inspiration to all. Thank you, Scott, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Geraldine Okun, Superior Court, 30 years. Words have not yet been created to describe the appreciation felt toward Jerry Okun and all she has done for the courts. Jerry has provided many years of warmth, friendship, and support. Her coworkers say they couldn't have done it without her. Jerry's favorite contribution is promoting exceptional customer service by suggesting the Elder Resource Guide be distributed for those going to the probate calendar window. Thank you, Jerry, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Deborah Wall, Superior Court, 30 years. Debbie has always given the proverbial 110% through her dedication, support, and great sense of humor. Debbie is proud of the fact that she was able to overcome her fear of public speaking and develop a number of great friendships that will last a lifetime. Thank you, Debbie, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. Victor Cook, County Attorney's Office, 30 years of service. Over his career, Vic has excelled in the prosecution of many types of cases, but he is most recognized for his vigorous prosecution of gang members and repeat offenders. Vic has also been an indispensable resource as a supervisor where he has coached, trained, and inspired new prosecutors. Vic enjoys helping develop the skills of his team and growing their passion for the job. Thank you, Vic, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Sandra DeFries, County Attorney's Office, 30 years of service. Sandy has had extensive involvement in many areas of the County Attorney's Office. Most notably, Sandy was instrumental in the Southwest Border Prosecution Initiative, which generated over $2.6 million in federal reimbursement funds. Sandy is most proud of gaining recognition and respect from the best prosecuting attorneys in Arizona. Thank you, Sandy, for, the serv for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Judith O'Neill, County Attorney's Office, 40 years of service. Judy has proven to be dedicated to ensuring justice for victims, and much of her career has focused on obtaining justice for our most vulnerable victims, children. Her knowledge of the law and her experience acquired over her 40 years at the Maricopa County Attorney's Office have proven to be an invaluable resource for her colleagues and our community. Thank you, Judy, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Christine Smith, County Attorney's Office, 30 years of service. Chris's journey through the Maricopa County's office has been one of great pride and dedication, moving from legal support to the information technology field. Her understanding of business processes and practices and her willingness to share this wealth of information has been a positive impact on not only the office, but the criminal justice system as a whole. Thank you, Chris, for the, your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Laura Summers, County Attorney's Office, 30 years of service. Lori began her career in the Adult Probation Department, and for the past 25 years, she has worked for MCAO. As a staff lead for the last eight years, she has assisted the Special Crimes Bureau with the prosecution of some of the county's high-profile public interest cases. Lori's many years of service to the citizens of Maricopa County have impacted the county attorney's office and the community in an everlasting way. Thank you, Laura, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. Charlene Armold, Assessor's Office, 35 years of service. Charlene started as a clerk with the assessor's office and worked her way to supervisor of the personal exemptions unit. There she oversees the team serving widows, widowers, disabled citizens, and seniors in need of assistance. As a resident expert, she conducts community outreach presentations on the valuation relief programs and is always willing to help. Her gentle demeanor and friendly smile are what she is known best for among her peers and the public. Thank you, Charlene, for your service to the citizens of America. Armando Chavez, Assessor's Office, 35 years of service. Armando began his career with the Assessor's Office as a clerk at the front counter and then progressed to an appraiser focusing on residential properties. He later became a crew chief and was eventually promoted to a management position. According to Armando, he's right back where he started except now he's the manager. <laughs> Throughout his 35-year career, he has shown exemplary character and devotion to the taxpayers of Maricopa County, his employees, and their families. Thank you, Armando, for your service to Maricopa County. Frank Harrison, Assessor's Office, 40 years of service. 
For 40 years, Frank Harrison has been a champion of data integrity, always striving to improve data validation processes and making data access easier for everyone in the assessor's office. Frank has witnessed the evolution of many emerging technologies and has helped develop paperless workflows. He has never shied away from difficult tasks and is always willing to take on new challenges. Thank you, Frank, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Lydia Navarro, Justice Court's 30 years of service. Lydia leads operations in Arizona's busiest justice court. She is respected by her peers and her team for her leadership, professionalism, and unique ability to build and maintain positive working relationships. She is always willing to go the extra mile to provide the best possible service to our customers. Thank you, Lydia, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Mini Uribe, Justice Court's 35 years of service. Minnie is an amazing person with an amazing memory who never hesitates to share her vast court and case processing knowledge with anyone needing help. For 35 years, her work ethic has been unsurpassed by anyone. Minnie is most proud of her part in stabilizing and improving the operations of the Downtown Justice Court back in 2002 and her efforts towards creating a model court providing excellent customer service. Thank you, Minnie, for your service to the residents of Maricopa County. <laughs> Laura Ng, Clerk of the Superior Court, 30 years of service. Laura has been a tremendous asset to Maricopa County, the Clerk of the Court, Superior Court, and many other justice agencies. She exemplifies true leadership and dedication to the organization and to her staff, and she continues to demonstrate that an employee with drive and determination can have a great career with the clerk's office. Thank you, Laura, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Cindy Harris, Treasurer's Office, 30 years of service. Cindy Harris's entire 30 years of service to the citizens of Maricopa County has been in the Treasurer's Office, where she was the very first computer operator for the office in 1988. Her tireless work ethic, technical expertise, and adaptability over the years have set this gold standard for service both inside and outside of the treasurer's office. Thank you, Cindy, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Mike McBride, Transportation, 30 years of service. Mike has worked in many different roles, starting as a temporary employee with the Flood Control District and is now the business solutions manager for McDot ITC. He has the unique ability to translate business requirements into technology solutions. Through Mike's leadership and direction, he has put together a highly effective team that is extremely customer focused. Mike has participated in many initiatives that have had significant positive impacts on county service. Thank you, Mike, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Delbert Phillips, Transportation, 30 years of service. Delbert is an outstanding individual and technician who leads by example. As a line worker or supervisor, he has true integrity when it comes to quality and worksmanship. Since 1993, Delbert has been one of the key individuals that enabled McDot to achieve and maintain federal accreditation for the County Materials Laboratory. This helps ensure that county roadways and bridges are safe and reliable for the driving public. Thank you, Delbert, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Ruben Ramirez. Transportation, 35 years of service. Ruben is dependable and hardworking. He began his career as a laborer in 1979. He has worked as a sign technician, becoming the sign field supervisor in 1996. He and his team maintain nearly 35,000 traffic signs in Maricopa County. Ruben also participates in the Palo Verde nu Nuclear Generating Station emergency exercises. He provides leadership as one of the flood, con flood response coordinators. His knowledge of our roadway system is vast, Ruben is all about providing safety for his employees and the traveling public. Thank you, Ruben, for your service to the Maricopa County. Frankie Valencia, Transportation, 30 years of service. McDot employees enjoy working with Frank and appreciate his leadership. Frank is very positive and has a helpful attitude. He began in 1984 as a laborer one at the old highway department. Frank moved up the ranks into his current position as a Southeast Operations and Maintenance Supervisor. Frank is a veteran. He served as a reservist in the, Army, in the Arizona Army National Guard for 19 years while working at McDot. In 1991, Frank's unit, the 220th Arizona Army National Guard Transportation Company, was deployed to Desert Storm. Thank you, Frank, for your service to the residents of Maricopa County. <laughs> Derek Knott, adult probation, 30 years of service. Derek is most recognized for his tireless efforts in the adult probation's fugitive apprehension unit where he has served for the last 12 years. Mr. Knott consistently tracks down and arrests a high number of probation absconders, doing so in a safe and professional manner. He is level-headed and respectful to all person he encounters in doing his job. While not at work, Derek enjoys spending time with his family and playing golf. 
Thank you, Derek, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Olivia Ramirez, adult probation, 30 years of service. Olivia has held a support leadership position in adult probation for two decades. She has been involved in countless projects, including the EPTR project, which improved the efficiency of filing pertinent information to the court electronically, resulting in improved public safety. Her knowledge, skills, and experience contribute to the overall success of the department. She still loves her job and her role in keeping our neighborhood safe. Thank you, Olivia, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Jose Arenas, juvenile probation, 30 years of service. Jose has been on call, an on-call juvenile detention officer since 1984. He is appreciated for his positive attitude. He is very dependable, a hard worker, and gets along well with all of the staff. He works well with our youth in detention. He listens to them and tries to help them make positive changes. He is a principal for the Litchfield School District, so he has many years of experience working with and molding the lives of kids. Thank you, Jose, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Herbert Quesada, juvenile probation, 35 years of service. Herb embodies the spirit of teamwork. He is always willing to help others and continually goes above and beyond taking on additional tasks and duties. Herb is a strong advocate for the youth and families he serves. Herb works diligently to ensure they have what they need to help them be successful on probation. Herb continues to be a positive force in the department by recently, nominated, by recently being nominated by staff to receive the Starfish Award for his contributions. Thank you, Herb, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Kathleen Harrington, Flood Control, 30 years of service. Kathleen was nominated by her peers for the Circle of Excellence, Exceptional Customer Service Skills, and Positive Attitude. Word that it is that it, because she shares her mother's cooking with staff, as a customer service supervisor, Kathleen is always friendly, cheerful, courteous, and helpful. At work, can I help is what you will hear her say, and she means it. She is always of great help when directing callers, visitors, or when supporting staff by connecting with them, by connecting them with the right sort resources. Thank you, Kathleen, for your service to the Citizens of America again. <laughs> Diane Smith, Flood Control, 30 years of service. Between 1989 and 1997, Diane was New Employee's first introduction to the county through orientation and computer training. Diane has contributed her personal time to lead the district's charity providing backpacks, food, hygiene items, and toys to the Head Start students in the neighborhood Murphy School District. Ironically, in her first month working for the Flood Control District, her office was flooded. Her Photoshop skills help keep the members of the Board of Directors and Board of Supervisors looking good. Thank you, Diane, for your service to the Citizens of America. Monica Armstrong, Public Health, 30 years of service. As a nursing graduate from ASU, Monica has dedicated over 30 years to Maricopa County Department of Public Health, a rare achievement. Monica has worn many hats in nursing and continues to do so as a nurse generalist with an open heart and warm smile. Most important for Monica has been her ability to adapt to 30 years of changes in providing professional health services to the needs of the community, particularly the underserved populations. Thank you, Monica, for your service to the residents of Maricopa County. <laughs> Yolanda Escajeda, Public Health, 30 years of service. Yolanda has worked for WIC during her entire 30 years at Public Health. She particularly enjoys helping moms learn healthy ways to feed their families and be successful when breastfeeding. Yolanda often utilizes her skills in sign language at work, which is a wonderful added benefit for many of our clients. Yolanda values making a difference in the health and well-being of mothers and their families. Thank you, Yolanda, for your service to the residents of Maricopa County. <laughs> Sheila May Smalls, Animal Care and Control, 30 years of service. Sheila May's extra effort, dedication, insights, and opinions have been extremely valuable to the success of ACNC. Her personal pride in her work is obvious to all, and she has never been taken for granted. The experience Sheila May's attained over the years has contributed to improvements in quality and practices and has been an integral part of the agency's success. Thank you, Sheila May, for your service to the residents of Maricopa County. <laughs> Diana Shepard, Human Services, 35 years of service. Diana has been with Human Services since February 27, 1979. Diana implemented the first automated reporting system for the division. In the mid-1990s, she was also instrumental in creating the first one-stop career center that is still used today. She worked on the implementation of the new workforce legislation, which became known as the Workforce Investment Act. Today, she interprets and implements policies supporting the legislative change to Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. Thank you, Diana, for your service to the residents of Maricopa County. Frank Nutter, 30 years of service, 
since 1984, Frank has weathered the storms as a flood control district inspector. He has protected life and property as a drainage inspector and supervisor. Frank played a lead role in the staff construction of stormwater facilities across the county. He took on many night flood watches during his tenure. His incredible knowledge and love of the field has made him a go-to person. Thank you, Frank, for your service to the residents of Maricopa County. <laughs> Cherie Proffer, public defender, 30 years of service. Cherie is a virtual one-man show at the Santan Justice Court. Her skills, work ethic, and commitment to clients and attorneys have earned her a reputation of being capable of any task. Cherie has personally educated thousands of people on the ever-changing procedures of the criminal court system, help that only experience can give. When people call, they deserve to be treated like staff would like to be treated. Cherie has always done that, giving everyone she serves correct and practical information. Thank you, Cherie, for your service to the residents of Maricopa County. <laughs> Pat Soria, County Manager, 30 years of service. Pat is Maricopa County's Employee Commute Options Program Manager. She coordinates employee ride-sharing opportunities such as van pools, bus riding, carpooling, and bicycling to work. Pat has won five Valley Metro Awards for her work in helping to keep our air clean. Pat is a member of the Travel Reduction Task Force and Vice President of the Local Association for Commuter Transportation Board. Thank you, Pat, for your service to the citizens of Maricopa County. <laughs> Crispin Willis, County Manager, 30 years of service. Thank you, Andy. And I asked if I could be the one that presented the certificate to Chris. And then I thought, I shouldn't have to ask. I'm the county manager. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to do this without being emotional. But as my wife has explained to people many, many times, Greeks are emotional people. And I've learned Lebanese might be the same. So I wanted to present this award not only for what Chris means to me, but to look back uh, to 1984 when Chris and I joined the county together. I think our start dates were uh, within a month of each other. Chris started in May, I started in June. Uh, we're a pair that probably should have never been hooked up because Chris was a graduate of St. Mary's High School <laughs> and I was a graduate of the rival all-boys school, that <laughs> Supervisor Chukri. And, and at that time, we really didn't like each other. We still don't. <laughs> <laughs> But in, in 1984, when Chris and I joined the county, all of county government fit in the West Court building, that six-floor building on 3rd Avenue in Jefferson. For some reason, the number stands out in my mind that we had 18 divisions of Superior Court in 1984. Uh, I was happy to see Ophelia here from the Sheriff's Office. Ophelia worked with me um, in the Finance Department, and I remember she taught Chris and I how to use those five and a quarter floppy disks that uh, <laughs> were the new thing coming to the county. So when I look back from 1984, um, I didn't just work with Chris for 30 years, but I grew up with Chris for 30 years. And it is so appropriate and so rewarding that at the end of our careers, this is my last job, that I got to spend this time with Chris. There, there is nobody like Chris. Um, every elected official, every department head, has the utmost respect for Chris. I can give Chris any assignment, and I know that that is carried out better than I could have done it myself. We have two new board members. Steve has been here for two years. Steve has been here for two months, and I think they would tell you that Chris did everything possible to make their transition as easy as possible. One of the hardest parts of my job is that I am at the top of the org chart, and there's tough decisions that I have a hard time making. And Chris is such a good sounding board for when I'm faced with those dilemmas. And half the time, I'll tell Chris, this is my problem, and this is what I plan to do. And she'll tell me, that's a good idea. And then half the time, she'll tell me, what could you possibly be thinking? <laughs> um, but her, her judgment um, is superb, her technical skills obviously uh, have served this county well, but it's her judgment and relationship skills that have made her so important to me. People have asked me, what am I gonna do when Chris leaves? And um, frankly, I don't know. Um, Chris is irreplaceable. I can't find another Chris. Don't start crying. And, uh, <laughs> um, She's not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for that message. Um, 
the, the county the county will move on and we'll continue to do the great things but um, in all honesty I, I don't know how I could ever replace Chris although I would add that there are some things that I'm looking forward to when Chris leaves and one of those is Chris is forever correcting my Spanish um, <laughs> Chris turning up her nose when she sees my wet workout clothes hanging in my office and asking me who parked my car in the morning when I didn't quite make it between the stripes. But um, Chris, I, I can't thank you enough. You've been an enormous friend. You've been a tremendous resource to the county, and you are irreplaceable. I'd just like to add a couple concluding remarks and first of all I would like to thank all those in the Human Resources Department and in my office that made this event possible. I'm so happy we could do it in this new facility. I'm so proud of this. What I've told our facilities people is I want to see this facility used so if you have ideas on how to use it please let me know. Um, like Chairman Shukri, I signed those 56 certificates and one of the great things about working here 30 years is that I think I know more county employees than just about anybody. And as I went through those certificates, I had a fond memory of, of, of many of those people, like Ophelia. And it reminds me of the good work, the honored work that county employees do. And I can't think of a time, I've been here 30 years, I, I can't think of a time where we have a more motivated, high-performing staff than we have now. And that starts with the Board of Supervisors and my management team and all of you. You, you can do the math. You look, look in the program. You can do the math, and many of these people would financially be better off retiring and doing something else. But they do this because of the reward they get of serving this community. Um, the thing that, that motivates me to come to work every day is working with highly motivated, energized, really smart people that are conquering complex problems. And that's what makes all this worthwhile. So thank you for being those people.